slip. Huh? Don't slip. Ethan, come and brush your teeth, please. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. What is that? What is it with little brothers leaving Lego everywhere? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Help! 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 I'm Batman. Uh, yeah, I know. Ah, well, I'm here to rescue you. Oh, thanks, Batman. Okay, let's get out of here. This was the wrong way. Okay, Batman. Thanks. Thanks so much, Batman. You saved my life. Stop. Where are you going? You saved my life, Batman. I was going to keep going. I didn't save your life for you to keep going the wrong way. I saved your life to go a new way. To go a better way. To go the right way. I didn't just save you from something. I saved you for something. Oh, okay. Sure, Batman. Yay, I'm going the right way. Evie, Evie, come check this out. It's from Roman Sticks versus Evie, wake up. Check out this Bible verse I found. It's from Roman Six verse 4. It says, we were buried with Christ in his death. Christ has been raised from the dead by the Father's glory. And like Christ, we also can have a new life. That's cool. Yeah, let's go find out about more of what it means. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Hi kids. How amazing is that what Michaela just read to us from Romans? That Jesus died on the cross and came back to life so that we could have a new life. We've just had Easter, where we remembered and thought about um, and said thanks to God that Jesus died on the cross and came back to life, that he took away our sins. But that's not the end of it. He didn't just take away our sins and that's the end of it. He took away our sins so that we can have a new life, so that we can be new people. How weird would it be? If Batman saved that guy, and the guy just goes back to his old way, he just keeps going the wrong way. No, just like Batman saved that guy so he could live a new life, Jesus has saved us so that we can have a new life in him. As his people, who live with him as the boss, and who do what he wants in his world. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, we thank you so much 
that you have given us new life. That you didn't just take away our sins and that's it. But that you have saved us to be your new people. Your treasured possession. Help us to be people that live the new life in Jesus. Who love you and follow you. And show other people what it means that Jesus is the King. And that we have a new life. Because you have saved us. Thank you in Jesus name. Amen.